Good morning guys, welcome to the vlog. Today is Friday and I am headed for a little day trip down to Huntington Beach in Orange County. I'm super excited, I'm gonna go hang out with one of my friends. I've actually never met her, but she's a teammate and a friend that I have been friends with over the internet and over text, but not in person yet, so I'm gonna go meet her. I will introduce y'all when I get there, but just wanted to say welcome to the vlog and thanks for hanging out with me today. Let's get going. See? He never gave up. He never stopped trying. He always believed in himself. And his success stemmed not from some determination to be a winner, but from the fact that he knew he was a loser. Okay, I made it to HB. By the way, my Starbucks order was just an iced coffee with a little bit of room, and I put a splash of half and half and two splendid in here. So, I'm very caffeinated now sitting and drinking caffeine I get very like meh. kind of like I don't know by the way my I woke up and my like eyelid area was all swollen and I have a steroid cream for I have like eczema or contact dermatitis on my eyelids sometimes if I like use certain eyeshadows I'm allergic to something I'm not sure what it is, but it's in like some eyeshadows and stuff. Obviously, once I know that an eyeshadow palette is like causing it, I don't use it anymore. But sometimes it just randomly flares up even when I don't use anything new. So, that is going on. Um, what else? What else? Today's going to be really fun. I brought my drone. I brought, um, stuff to go to the beach. It's going to be a good time. So, I am just sitting in the car waiting for me friend, me amiga. Also guys, if you do enjoy my videos, please don't forget to give them a like when you're watching or when you're done watching. It really does help out the channel. Um, it helps me out because it lets me know what videos you want to see more of. And then it also helps new people find the videos. It helps the videos. Basically, YouTube's algorithm will like favor videos that have more likes. So it will show up in more like suggested boxes. So other people that might not find my videos um, otherwise will see my videos pop up and that's always exciting so I do want to really continue to give back to you guys I think the next milestone will be 40k we'll do a huge giveaway so definitely don't be shy please like the video if you feel so inclined if you enjoyed any of it I love seeing your comments I always try to reply to the first like two-ish hours of comments on a new video and yeah now I think my friend is about to be here. I just got here. I like beat her to her own apartment. So that's why I wanted to chat with y'all and I think she's here. So let's get the day started. What's up guys? Just wrapped up a workout with this girl. Say hi <laughs> to my friend Ashley. I'll Hello. put her Instagram right here. But we just wrapped up a good glute workout. Zona wants to say hi too. Oh, oh hello. Oh, hello. Oh, yes. And... We're going to take you through it. So I'm going to do a voiceover and explain what we did today. Hey guys, welcome to the voiceovers. I'm just going to walk you through all the exercises that Ashley and I did. And I'm actually just going to try to keep it rolling even if I mess up. So please bear with me. But um, let's get started. The first exercise that we did was barbell hip thrusts and I left the setup in there just so you could kind of see how I do it um, but you'll notice that I did also add a band around my knees and then um, we have a pad underneath the bar and that is just to protect your hips the band around the knees is um, it adds tension around your knees so that means that your glutes need to activate in order to keep your knees from caving in so it does help activate your glutes in kind of like a counterintuitive way and then if you're a beginner, I would recommend just sticking with the band around your knees and leave it at that. But if you're more advanced, then I would recommend that you try doing like an abduction at the top of the thrust. So when you're all the way at the top, pause for a second and then abduct um, at the hips, which means you're kind of pushing your knees out using your glutes. And for me, that has really helped me learn how to truly use my glutes in the hip thrust because A, you're pausing and B, you're also using them um, in an abduction rather than just hip extension. So the actual thrust is hip extension. And then when you move your knees outwards, that is abduction. So you're working your glutes in like two planes of movements and that is super, super killer. You could even try the abductions with no band just to get used to it. But 
um, try this out for sure. And keep in mind that when you're pausing and doing abductions, you're going to have to drop the weight. This is not going to be like a max effort hip thrust. So we stayed at 135 for about 12 to 15 reps. And every exercise in this work workout was four sets. Next up, we moved on to one of my other favorite glute movements, and that is dumbbell or kettlebell Romanian deadlifts, and I like to use either a singular dumbbell or a singular kettlebell, and I just find them that really, really um, targets my glutes better than if I were to use a barbell or two dumbbells. Um, I think it's just the way that the weight is distributed helps me activate my glutes more. I think it allows me to think about um, twisting my knees out a little bit and that hits that abduction um, motion again. So it really is a good well-rounded glute movement. It also hits your hamstrings. You'll notice for this one, um, Ashley locks out a lot more than me at the top and you can do one of two things. You can stand all the way up and lock out and fully squeeze through and get that full hip extension or you can kind of do what I do which is um, or what I did this day which is keeping constant tension on your glutes so you'll see that I kind of tuck my hips under but I'm not fully squeezing through at the top which everyone loves but you can try holding on to the dumbbell in the middle you can try holding on to the rubber part um, just find whatever tweaks work for you that is the beauty of this is that everyone has like little things that work best for them next up we moved on to a glute superset going between the adduction and abduction machine so ad adduction add is inward and that's going to work your inner thighs and then abduction abd is going to work your glutes and outer thighs um, so that is really good to incorporate both into your routine that's going to help keep your knees stabilized and you don't want to just train um, your abductors because you you want to be like well balanced and be strong um, around all your joints not just like one side or the other you don't want to get any muscular imbalances so I do encourage you to include um, adductor work as well as abductor work but you'll see these machines kind of like rock back and forth these are the hoist machines I prefer actually just like a plain old abduction adduction machine but again, we did four sets of this, but I actually went up to like 20, 25 reps, depending on if I was just feeling a really good burn on this one. This is one that you're not going to have a super high load. Rather, you're going to go for reps and just push the volume as much as you can. After that superset, we moved on to some leg press. Again, I put the band around my knees to get a little more outer glute activation, and you'll notice that my feet are higher up on the platform, and that, again, is going to help target the glutes a little better. It'll hit your glutes and hamstrings a little better the higher up your feet are. If your feet are lower, that's going to hit more quads. Another thing that helps for making sure your glutes are firing on this is pushing through with your heels. Um, you don't want to be on your toes at all. You want to be able to, like, wiggle your toes um, and you also notice I do a little bit of a pause at the bottom and that helps me make sure that I'm keeping tension in my glutes and really using them to push back up immediately after the leg press I did a superset of calf raises on the leg press for this please make sure that your legs have like a soft bend in them you don't want your legs to be locked out you never want to lock out your joints when you're lifting um, that's dangerous so make sure that you you have a soft bend in your knees you don't want to be using your quads for this but just keep a soft bend and then push through the balls of your feet Next, we just did a little bit of a burnout at the end to really get our heart rate up and, you know, fire up everything and just die, basically. But we did a um, a few sets of these jump squats with the bands. I chose, like, an in-and-out squat, and Ashley just did regular jump squats, and that was our entire workout. So everything pretty simple. I would say beginner-friendly and definitely got the glutes good. So try this out and let me know how it went. Okay, we kept it pretty simple, but hit the glutes hard, and now we're going to so go to the beach.
Lunch is served, y'all. This is a fresh seafood salad with ahi tuna, some avocado, cucumbers, edamame, and then this is like a ginger dressing on the side. I just asked for some lemon, and that's probably what I'll use as dressing with some soy sauce. And then I also have a fourth of a pound of seaweed salad, which is my favorite. And it's absolutely beautiful. This is like such a nice view, especially with this one. <laughs> What's up y'all, made it back to LA. I am currently trying to pack for my trip because I'm leaving for Colorado tomorrow. And if y'all didn't know, I'm going to a ranch and I'm gonna ride horses all week and I cannot wait. I am so excited. This is a trip that I've wanted to do as long as I can remember, like since I was little. So I'm so stoked. I'm going with my friend, Joelle who I have actually only met once, and that was at her wedding last year. But I'm super, super excited. It's gonna be a blast, but I wanted to show y'all my packing progress. This is the mess that we have so far. So we have like riding pants, jeans, riding tights, leggings, sweatshirts and jackets, long sleeves, t-shirts, flannels, all of the flannels, sports bras, tank tops, underwear, socks, boots, lots of stuff, and suitcases. So, my flight leaves bright and early at like 9.15 tomorrow, so I need to leave for the airport at like 6.30. It's gonna be an early morning, and I'm trying to get to bed by midnight, so keep y'all posted and see if that happens. Also, if you've enjoyed this video in any way, shape, or form, any second, even if it was just the ocean, please feel free to give it a like and let me know. And I will uh, see you guys when I've made some more progress, hopefully. All right, y'all, I am mostly packed. Guys, get excited for the content coming because I'm gonna do my best to make this like really fun to watch, really engaging, and I'm gonna have a blast. So I hope you guys um, will enjoy it. But I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please remember to give it a like. Leave a comment down below what sort of videos you would like to see next. And I hope you have a great rest of your day. Bye.